I'm in Nairobi and you in some remote village and you and you're my mother and, and I need to send you some money. I go to the nearest M-Pesa agent, of which there are 100,000 in Kenya. So there's very one just around the corner, literally. You give them cash, they convert that cash into electronic money which sits on your phone. Actually on your SIM card, not on your phone, on your SIM card. Then through a series of very simplified SM text, uh, sorry, menu structure, you can send that money to somebody else's phone in some remote area. You get the money on your phone, you see, you get an SMS to say, you've received so much money from me, and you can then either keep that money on your phone, either to secure it, to keep it safe, or you can keep it to pay your electricity bill or your whatever needs you have, or you can go to the nearest Mpesa agent, which is just around the corner, and take the money out. That's in its simplified form. There's been a recently an economic study done by MIT or by somebody at MIT, the business school, Sloan Business School, talking about what M-Pesa has done to society. Now, it's done many, many things. The World Bank has published reports about has it improved the GDP of the country. But one thing, on a poverty level, they say that people who, have, who are part of the M-Pesa family, who use M-Pesa, it has reduced their poverty level. Now, it's between 10 and, and 2%, I, I, I think the figure is. And that's because people now no longer have to keep money for a rainy day in the mattress. Because they know that if they run into trouble, somebody can send them money very easily and quickly if they run into trouble. So they can now use the money that they would have put on the mattress to invest in their small businesses and so on. Okay, so the Impesa Foundation is a very interesting uh, program. Um, first of all, when we thought about Impesa, the regulator asked us to put all the money that's in the Impesa system, the cash that's in the Impesa system, in a trust account. So that not belonging to Safaricom, but in a separate account run by a separate group of trustees. And so the money would just sit there and then when people wanted it, it would come out. So it was safe and secure from a regulatory point of view. But uh, and we thought, well, this is fine. And we thought the money would only stay in the, uh, in, the, in, in the system for maybe two or three days and the interest would be very minimal in, in terms of that. But actually what's happened over the years, because it's got so big, the interest has grown tremendously. And because we're not a deposit-taking institution, you can't really pay back the interest to the individual. So what we have done now is we set up the Impesa Foundation and we use the interest for funding big, good projects in Kenya. Big, we do is, we're doing a high school, we've done, uh, so we've done education, we've done wildlife and conservation, uh, we've done water projects, big water projects, and now the Impesa Foundation is funding the, uh, the MTBA project together with Farm Access and, uh, and AMREF. You, we have the ability to have a number of wallets on your phone. Some of them are like a normal debit card, you can spend it anywhere, like a normal wallet. And some of them we have what we call a closed wallet. And with the MTBA system, money goes into a closed wallet, which can only be used for health purposes and only at specific, specific health clinics. So, so you, either the employer puts the money in there for you, or you get a, a donor who puts the money in there, or you have a health insurance plan that puts the money into this wallet that can only be used at certain regulated, uh, certified health clinics. And that's what the MTBA project is. It's in its infancy, starting out, but it's a tremendous project.